Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about CSS properties like text align, font size, width, text decoration and much more. We will also learn how to write comments in CSS. So without wasting time, let's get started. So we can actually have multiple things. So here we can have a paragraph and in the paragraph I will write some uh, random letters. So we have some random letters. Let me just save it and we have a paragraph as well. We can have multiple things, right? We can have a link that uh, refers to some website like our very own website, tutorialspoint.com. I just zoomed it out. Let me zoom in back, something like this. And then we can say tutorials point. Let me save it and can we, let me just have some space for our website. We can zoom out, just press control minus and it will zoom out the VS code. Now let's go to styles and let's target this h1, this paragraph tag as well as this link tag or a tag. Now for the h1, as you can see, it is red color. Why? Because I told you the internal CSS is being preferred. So let me just remove it. We are going to use external CSS because it is much preferred, but you can always use between the three. So let me just save it and the color is this one. Next, we can have multiple styles. For example, another thing is for this H1, I want it to be aligned to the center of the web page. For that, there is a property called as text align and I'll write center. When I save it, as you can see, hello YouTube is in the center of our web page. Similarly, let us target our paragraph. So I'll write P which stands for paragraph and then curly braces. Inside the curly braces, we can have multiple properties. For example, I would like to change the font size. Let me zoom in. I would like to change the font size for this and let's make it 30 pixels. Once I save it, as you can see, the paragraph becomes huge because it's 30 pixels, right? We can also do multiple things. We can say text align. Let me just zoom in back. We can say text align and the text align, let it be justify. And when I click save, as you can see, the text will be justified, something like this. There are multiple things. We can change the width of this element as well. For example, let's say the width should be only 10 pixels. When I save it, as you can see, it basically changes the width to 10 pixels. Don't worry if you didn't understand what this is. We will talk about it later on what width is all about. So let me just delete this one and we are back to normal. Similarly, we can target another element, for example, this link. So a tag is the link, right? Now here we can have multiple things. Now a tag by default have this blue color, right? They have this cursor of pointer, what we call in CSS, and they have this underline as well. But I just want to remove this styling. So what will I do is I will write, let's say the color of this should be black. Once I save it, as you can see, the color is black. Next, I want to say the font size should be 20 pixels. So the font size is 20 pixels. Next, for the links, we know that there is this underline by default. We want to remove it and to remove it, there is a property that is called as text uh, decoration. And we will set this text decoration to none. And when I save it, as you can see, the underline is gone, but the link is still working. If I click on it, it will take me to tutorials point website. All right, let's go back. So this was a bit about a CSS on how we can target different elements. As you can see, we first wrote the name of the element that is H1 and then in the curly braces, we specify the properties. This is the property and this is the value. And note the property and value together is called a declaration. So each of these lines can be called as a CSS declaration. Also, I would like to emphasize how we can use comments in CSS. For example, I'll write a simple comment. I will say this is external CSS. If you press control slash, as you can see, it changes it into a comment. So a comment is made by a slash, then a star sign, then you write whatever you want, then you close it with a star and a slash sign. For example, here I'm going to write slash and then a star sign, and then I will write, this is the style declaration for P 
tag. And to close this comment, I'll write star and a slash. Something like this. If I save it, nothing happens. That will be enough for this video. In the next video, we will learn about CSS selectors. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and I will see you in the next video.